In this video, I'll show you how to load the Rapid Composer VST3 plugin in Cubase and route it to instrument tracks. With this setup, composing in Cubase becomes much simpler using Rapid Composer. First, I'll add a new track to Cubase by dragging the Rapid Composer plugin into the track area. The first track in Rapid Composer uses MIDI Channel 1. I'll add a second track using Channel 128 since the Rapid Composer VSD3 plugin supports up to 128 channels. We've set up two tracks, one on Channel 1, the other on Channel 128. Now, I'm adding two virtual instruments. One is a bass instrument on channel 1, and the other is a classic synth sound on channel 128. Make sure to turn on monitoring for the instrument tracks so you can hear them. I'll select Rapid Composer, MIDI out 1 as the instrument input, and channel 1 for the bass. I'll do the same for the harmony track, but this time I'll use MIDI out 8, which is the 8th event bus, and set the channel to 16. That gives us channel 128 exactly. Now, I'll add simple phrases to the bass and chords tracks in Rapid Composer for testing. We're ready to try out Rapid Composer's internal sequencer. Perfect! Everything's routed correctly. The instruments in Cubase are receiving the right channels. Let's try playback from Cubase. Routing MIDI channels from Rapid Composer is straightforward in Cubase. Like and subscribe for more, and try Rapid Composer yourself at musicdevelopments.com. Check out the next videos on the screen. Thanks for watching.